Hello comrade, we have lots to explore in our little island republic and want to plant some new food industry, so let's dive right into it. Greetings and welcome back. We were busy in the last couple of days, made some episode or two and um, finished some construction, started new ones and I want to give you a tour, mainly here in the city where Astral Silver did this magic and planned some new beautiful buildings which fit perfectly well in the scenery. So let's dive right into it. And I go on pause and I stay on pause for the rest of the episode because my job here is only to plan a little bit. Um, Self-sufficient food industry is on the table today. So I will not skip time forward because uh, we need to pay attention what happens here in the city. It's still crucial what happens here. The city is quite stable, but not super uh, resilient to everything what happens. It needs to have some management. Um, for example, the Favea people are really, really not happy. You can look into them. So here, 49% happiness. Um, regard to bad housing quality. Still a manageable situation. They are not running away in droves. We have population growth over the years, so we have imported like 600 workers and now we have 1,500 people. Yep, which is great, but we need more. We need way more. What we have planned here are, first of all, this complex, a <laughs> new cornerstone of our economy. It's... Um, two hotel sites and uh, between these wings there's a nice housing apartment which is on the rise. Uh, everything is built mainly with bricks so we need an enormous amounts of bricks. Here also rise up a little complex with a housing block for uh, not so many people, 130 and um, some culture on the other side so yeah we should take care of our people. On the other side, this one still stands. We have created a small inland park here with the crime and justice system. So first of all, here's a courthouse, which will look really nice here, I think, in this park. And um, a little tower so we can throw the bad guys into the, <laughs> into the tower flagged with a little portal here and um, Astral Silver will do his magic also to decorate this one and it will be a beautiful park. Yes, like here for example, it really looks cozy. <laughs> you want to move in here and live here. But no. Um, first new residential building is finished and people are taking advantage of it because the housing quality is not shit. <laughs> the happiness is a little bit higher. And um, crime is also standing up. So if you look here into this one, we have some um, crimes which are reported and nobody takes care of it. We can take a look into a house. So we have a criminality of 0% here and 1% here, which is not so bad. But if you look into the, I think, worse houses, let's see. They're also 0%. Okay. Favea, 2%. Okay. 0%. Yeah, so it's. Um, I always look at this number. This is the main thing which interests me when it comes to crime in my city. How criminal is a house? And if it's over 3%, it's problematic. 1% or 2% is quite normal. But uh, we must take care of the situation. So, uh, aside from the justice system, we have also a police station which is rising up here some more buildings for residentials. We need to develop the city and a university, which also will look very good in this whole setting. Ah, and, uh, <laughs> and the baseball field. Yep. Okay. So the um, English colonists should be pleased. <laughs> Awesome. Um, what I have also finished, or we have together finished, is the um, complex here. So it's the wood-based in industry, um, where we create charcoal in the kiln here. 
on a very low level because all the people are occupied doing some work at the construction industry. Um, we create coal here. We have our beautiful, um, <laughs> in its own way, uh, beautiful power plant. That's the name. Yes. A power plant which creates six megawatts of power peak and uh, should take care of all the needs of this little island at first. If we grow, we need to expand it, but it's way better than our current central power plant, which is this hut here. Can we see it in action? Yes, we can. <laughs> so, yeah. This one is... Yeah. Um, starting opportunity, let's call it that. Uh, flanked by the wind industry, but uh, wind is not stable power supply, so... This one does its best to stabilize our power grid, um, but it's high time we expand it because the main thing here is this one. And oh, I need to skip one month night cycle. And you see here, so this one is quite normal. I think if you have wind power, uh, you don't have stable power supply. And uh, we pull out one point now let's say one megawatt because we have some industry at the harbor side. Um, yeah. So everything comes to a point where we need to expand our power grid ASAP, which is also by design. So we need to have um, independent power supply because we have no border access, but we also don't want to make our life too easy. Oh, uh, oh we have blinking lights. Um, Okay, I have daytime again, so I can start planning. Yeah, so that's the situation. This is what happened. Um, imports going well. We have created some warehouses to store our goods. Keep, give us a little bit of a buffer for uh, goods of the daily life or construction materials, because construction materials can't be pulled out directly from the ships. Okay, good. So, what we want to do today is to plan a food-based industry um, around here. And industry is a big name for what I have planned. But uh, industry it is nonetheless. So it will be plant-based um, because plants are growing fast on this island. And let's see. Um, we have... Uh, peace agreement with the city builder Astral Silber and I cannot cross this line here. <laughs> so it's an imaginary borderline here. So he can build peacefully his city and I can pull out peacefully some industry. <laughs> and everybody is hopefully totally happy. Yeah, <laughs> we do our best. Okay, so I have pick and choose some buildings and the freaking hotbar is... Uh, in deep dive mode. I don't know what's happening here. So I cannot show it to you in this way, but I can press buttons. So there are some little storages I have chosen um, and an orchard, which is maybe on the next one hiding here. Yeah. Okay. This one is the first one and um, this one really complicates my life, but I like complications. <laughs> I'm kind of that guy. Um, so, it produces food and crops. And this is uh, very nice because we want to have an economy which is not fuel-based anymore. <laughs> we go back to the future and um, maybe get some horses next time. So, also we have some other industries like clothing which can make use of some clothes. And I want to add this one here to this place. Maybe like so. Turn you around. And... Hmm. Can you like that? Okay. Good. So let us take a look. One road here. Mm. Sadly, I want to get rid of this one, this one, 
and connect this road in a straightish fashion. Maybe, hopefully. Yeah. So, yes. Okay. So that's the first part. Mm. These two orchards. And uh, they are fed by this bus station here. Mm. Well, we have the tiny bus. <laughs> tiny bus service, but we need big buses. But big buses are in our, in our ships. Which is also a pain in the behind. So. One thing is, these excavators, they have very special ship needs. So we can click in here and look for which ships. And you can only, let's see, I think you can only see which vehicles you need, uh, which vehicles you can transport with your purchased vehicles. So, for example, you have the border. Can I click you? I can. Okay. So he's sitting at the border, and you can click here, and you can see which ships can carry them away. So. Our first problem was the excavator, which has some special ship needs. So most ships which can transport them, uh, can transport vehicles, even longer vehicles, cannot transport them. So we have this one here, which should help us. And if you see, short by value. The Bacas is able to transport it, but not our raft, which we have purchased, the Gron Almeida. So we could go with a vanilla ship, which was way more, <laughs> wasn't uh, so uh, big pleasure to work with because it's a uh, very expensive and we need to take care of our money or the big container ship. Yeah, out of our scope, but only these. So if you go vanilla, you need this one. If you don't go vanilla, you need uh, the Bacas or something else. I don't know uh, what, what you can expect, but um, maybe there are some ships on the workshop we haven't uh, taking advantage of but yeah we try to pick and choose every one of them because they are really nice models and another problem is then we had two long vehicles so the bespoken Grand Amalda is on the way um, and he's circling around with the buses so let's see next pitfall so here Oops, we have loaded these omnibuses, which are beautiful and have a carriage attached to them. But they are so beautiful and long that they are too long to unload at the Pioneer <laughs> thing, um, which is perfectly fine. But um, you don't expect such a thing. So every other vehicle was unloaded here, except of the omnibuses. For example, um, do we have him here? Um, yes, yes, yes. Here, this this one here, which is quite a long vehicle. Could be unloaded. These ones, no. So, yeah, we need to build some infrastructure to get our vehicles out. Because I want them out. Okay. So, further on we trot. Let's upgrade this road and this road and that road. Should I also upgrade this one? Mm. Yeah, why not? Okay, and here we start on the rural side of things. Mm. Okay, so this one produces on tops one ton of crops and food per day. Let's check our population what they consume because we want the only thing we can make money is with tourism. Oh, yes, and um. Let me click the right buttons. And the uh, last month. The only thing we can make money is with tourism. And um, tourism only pays in big time if you produce the stuff yourself. And the second thing is we want to be self-reliable. 
because um, the ship business is a problem if you run out of stuff. So if you run out of food or something, you need to. It takes weeks to get the food back. So uh, it's a really effort in coordination, but it's big fun. I like the management aspects of the game. So the consumption of the citizens in a month. So we have the critical thing is food, 14 tons. And you see we have a population of 1500. So let's say um, one ton per 100 people. And we want to grow. We want to grow fast and we need to grow because we need more hands on deck to take care of this whole business and to take care of our hotel business. Really important. So if we double it, it's 30 tons. So it would be the monthly production of this one by 100%. And um, if you have two, um, you should be able to sustain a population which is double that. Then we have meat, three tons. We also will take, take care of that shortly. And uh, electronics, we will not care. Clothes, maybe in future. Alcohol, two tons. We can also take care of alcohol here. Okay. So, let me see. This is the more or less line to the city. Mm -hmm. And we are here and we are here. I want to come a little bit closer here because I need to have worker access. And also I want to have a little distribution center to um, take care of the warehouse of the warehouse situation or the shopping situation here. So we need a distribution network which provides everything what the people need and everything what the hotels need. So this is a good place uh, also near the production. So if we have force business going on here, I don't want to interfere for example this main road where um, the buses will go back and forth. So let's see what we can plan. Food and crops we have and work access we have from here. Okay. So we have this one here. Let's start I think with the um, distribution side of things and buy some shops. <laughs> and uh, my freaking invisible hotbar. You know, can prepare and the game says oh no, no, no. You don't play with us. So, we have a warehouse here. This is, I think, not the warehouse I'm searching for, but let's see. Nope. Because we have ton of tons of warehouses. This is an industrial warehouse, uh, quite nice. This is a small warehouse. <laughs> This one is also nice, a silo, uh, which I can place here for further uh, later use. So this one I want to have. Mm -hmm. A small barn. The small barn goes in here. And here. This is the unloading point for these ones. They need a little bit of chemicals and need to be unloaded regularly. Okay. Good. So I have a circling course. <laughs> yeah. That's the term. Uh, going back and forth. Okay. Good. So what's that? No. This one, yeah, small warehouse. Small, uh, small barn. Okay. Let's see what we have in the next invisible toolbar. Okay. This one we had. This one we had. Ah, the chicken farms. So chicken farms need workers, and workers we can don't get from here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Need to talk to Comrade Astral Silver <laughs> that I need some workers. Um, and resources. Okay. So let's leave.
good space for our distribution network. Footpath comes in here. Should we go here? So we have footpath access here. Maybe a little bit more to the front. Like so. Okay. Good. So this takes care of our meat situation and uh, will be fed by the crops. They both take one ton of crops a day. And because we have no export, we can also not export any excess. So um, these ones are uh, a problem in a way, because I need to get rid of the crops somehow, which will be fun. Okay, so let's create a road so we have something to orient ourselves to. So, here and here. Good. Next step. So, distribution area here. Mm. This route could be a little bit more straightish. Or else I get blamed by Comrade Astralsilvert. I will take unnecessary space. Maybe we go here. angular enough okay so okay. we are here at the power lines it can wait with connection good so foot and um, meat distribution so hopefully I can find my shop which I have prepared. Distribution related stuff. This is a small distribution office. Um, this is a big distribution office. Also want to have this one. I think this one looks nice next to this one. Hmm. It's kind of fitting. But the big one also has, needs to have good street access. So I think it will go in here. Turn you around. Okay. Next one on our adventure, a smaller one, yes. This one is a small truck yard, mm, could come in handy, but I need some distribution offices for this business. So they need to feed the, need to put in the plants and pull out the meat. 
I'm still not sure if I put static lights in or distribution lights. But where's my freaking shop? If I don't find a shop, it'll be really annoying. Yeah, just look at the pictures, Dennis. Look at the pictures. What's here? Ah, the horse feeding yard. This one really is great. Um, where should we place it? For uh, rural ambience? Maybe here? And we need to take some measures so that nobody else gets uh, reviewed by the horse feeding yard. Which, uh, would be a little bit crazy. Yeah. Horse feeding. Um, this one is also nice. It's a more static situation of the horse feeding yard. So it looks a little bit more professional. But, ah, we are not here for professionalism, aren't we? No, we improvise. Okay. So what really is annoying, the shop I have picked and choose is nowhere to be seen. So we need to dive into my mod section. Oi, 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 oi. And we are back, and I know why I didn't find it, because I was looking for a shop and I I need a small warehouse. Yes. <laughs> so if you search for the wrong thing, you never will find it. So this one is the old warehouse, which stores everything we need and uh, will come quite handy to our distribution base here. Um, so I will connect it at street level. Let's see. That's a good place. Hmm? Maybe like here. And plonk you in. Hmm? It will fit, maybe it won't. You will see. First, are always hard with factory connections. Okay. Good. And now I need a little cargo storage. Oh, this will be so cute. <laughs> ah, I, like, I like my big stuff, but I also like my very small stuff. Uh, no, this one not. I have a go-to cargo storage. This is quite old. Uh, this one, yeah. Teensy tiny one. Uh, so here. Mm. Looks like we have a problem. I'm sorry that I can't show you the warehouses in uh, action, but look at them. Really nice models. Yep. I will publish um, a mod list shortly. So hopefully it will also be updated. Uh, creating a mod list is a pain in the behind because I have already created a mod list with 600 en entries and yeah, it's not easy. I've created a way to make it for myself a little bit more manageable. Okay, good. So this one is only for construction. Yes, yes, yes. Um, hmm? Maybe I can make it a little bit more straighter. Okay, good. And then this one here, this is a grain storage. Also does not hurt to have it in our little inventory here. Uh, why are you lying to me? Freaking game. Okay. 
Good. Stop. Um, so we have warehouses. We have no connection. Is it because the road robs you of the ability to connect? Yes, it does. Yep. So we have tiny warehouses, uh, which has also the ability to store meat. We have a little distribution thing, and we will plant some farms around it, so it will look really nice. We have the distribution office, which can also be turned around, thinking about it. Mm. Should we move a little bit the road? Yes, we should. So let's see. Just to make the... Or shouldn't we? Do we make it more compact or more villagey like Because right now it's fluffy. <laughs> but I think I want a little bit more compactness. This whole build. So we build this. And remove that. Very careful. And have our little town center or distribution center here. Nice, nice. Okay. So this one looks now a little bit confusing or challenging. <laughs> um, yep, why not? Okay, correct my cable. Good. So let us think. I don't have power, but um, I will connect power later on. It's no problem. Uh, water and sewage also needs to be piped in. We have food, meat. We have a little bit of distribution. We need a little bit of more small distribution. We have food for our horses. Distribution needs to have a slightly faster way to the street. So I'll upgrade this one. This street is okay. We need some access to our town at some point, so we need workers here. It should be piped in like this. And then come to town and hopefully get some get somebody to work here. Looks a little bit grim at the moment because we have no housing, but uh, housing can be easily plopped in here. So yeah. That's good. Okay. What should we do also? Ah, vineyard. Oh, since when I have my pictures back? <laughs> Why? Hmm. What have I done? Nice. Thank you, game. Really appreciate it. But not for everything. Um. Maybe because I've placed it, but this one I also placed. Uh, yeah, chicken farm. We have alcohol. Let's go to the mod section. Vin. Right. So we go to factory. A vineyard. Beautiful thing. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, look what who's fitting here. Mmm. I like it. I like it a lot. Could also be fitted here. No, it can't because there's a distribution office. Okay. Oh, sorry, you have to go. 
where will you go today? Maybe here? Maybe here? Horse feeding place is subject to change. But here is also a good place. So let me get rid of this whole stuff. Make room for Senor Vineyard. Oh, that's nice. How do you fit in the grain? Oops. I want to rotate you. Okay. Good. Nice. Okay. So I think this is the, a nice step forward to be self-sufficient. So we have food, we have crops, we have uh, meat in a, in a good number. Uh, the chicken farms produce 0 0.2 tons a day. So in 10 days they produce 2 tons at 100%. So they can produce six tons and they will take care of our crops. And we have a vineyard, so we have alcohol, we have distribution and um, all the little stuff will follow like power and uh, water and sewage and workers. <laughs> all those problems to be solved in the future. I will keep you up to date. Uh, thank you for watching and have a nice weekend and enjoy or whatever day you're watching this and enjoy your time.